would say roughly uh, September of 1962, when James Meredith, an African American, qualified, eligible citizen of Mississippi, was an applicant, at first denied by uh, the university, and ultimately received a federal court order that uh, the university must admit him. And the Attorney General of the United States, Robert Kennedy, believed that that court order should be enforced. And under the Constitution, one of the jobs of the President of the United States is to implement the laws, and that includes the judicial rulings of the nation. And the two Kennedy brothers were determined that uh, Meredith would be admitted. Uh, the governor of Mississippi, uh, old uh, very conservative scoundrel named Ross Barnett, he was determined that he not be admitted. The students, I'm sorry to say, at the University of Mississippi joined in with the townspeople and others to try to prevent his being admitted. There was a mob, there was a riot, there was violence. I had been uh, in the hospital with ulcers and following this through the newspapers and uh, ultimately uh, prepared a memorandum of my thoughts to the president regretting that I could not be on the scene. And on the, uh, I believe the day before I was to be discharged, which was a, I think a Sunday, uh, he called and said uh, that I should come down to the White House. And I checked. Well, I didn't actually check out of the hospital, but I never went back. <laughs> uh, getting good care at Bethesda Naval Hospital. <laughs> and um, there, uh, my first night out of the hospital turned out to be all night at the White House. I had a few all nighters in the first weeks of the administration messages to go to Congress with. I'm not sure I spent uh, very many all-nighters uh, <coughs> there by uh, October, by September 62. And the President and the Attorney General and I, Burke Marshall, wonderful assistant Attorney General, was there. And uh, we were monitoring the situation. Ultimately, the president uh, went on the air with a short speech that has uh, received comparatively little attention when people look over the speeches of John F. Kennedy. It was a speech about the rule of law. Not only has it not received much attention from the historians, but it received no attention from those rioting uh, on the university campus because the riots did not uh, stop in response to the speech. Ultimately, the president uh, sent uh, uh, troops, nationalized the Mississippi National Guard, and sent uh, troops as well. And ultimately, order was, uh, I say ultimately, by morning, order was restored. I thought of this a few years ago when on the Gulf Coast, uh, another kind of lawless disorder was taking place following the Hurricane Katrina. And there was a request for federal intervention and none came. But in that instance, uh, uh, help did come and I would immodestly commend to you, since so few people have read it, but you can look it up and you can find it, you can find anything these days on the internet, the speech he made on the rule of law and the fact that citizens of the United States are free to disagree with the law, but not to disobey it. 